Okay, we are uh, we're underneath the uh, the back of my uh, 1991 Ford F-150 uh, pickup truck with a 5.0 liter, and uh, I had some leaking uh, at the cover of the rear differential. Uh, I thought I would pop it off, check my fluid levels, get a gasket. The, there is a gasket made for these, by the way, these 8.8s, and. Uh, Fill it back up with fluid and uh, maybe change my pinion seal. I'll, that's on the other end where the drive shaft goes in. I'll show you that later. But uh, when I got this thing apart, I uh, happened to see uh, a. If you come in here and look, you got some uh, some broken off teeth on the uh, spider gears. We have side gear, side gear. That's on the end of your axles. And then we have these spiders or pinions as Ford calls them that ride inside this carrier of the differential. This is an open style diff. Ah, I saw that and what I also saw was if you look up here, a bunch of wire on this uh, exciter ring. This exciter ring is uh, made with all these little teeth on it and uh, these teeth uh, act as a pulse. Well the, there's an ABS sensor back behind here, back up here to the left of this uh, rear end on the drive shaft side and uh, it's a Hall effect sensor and it picks up uh, iron passing past a coil. Uh, the coil uh, creates inductance and that inductance will fluctuate uh, as an iron mass is passed near the coil. They call that the Hall effect. So, I can surmise from looking at this, one, my ABS light has been on for a long time, but I didn't really care. Two, I've got broken off spider teeth. I can surmise that the broken off teeth ended up probably down here where this exciter ring runs pretty darn close to the bottom. And you see some of these damaged, Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. Maybe not. I've got some damaged teeth on this exciter ring. And I really think that, uh, there's some more damaged ones up here. I really think that one of these spider teeth got broke off, ended up getting caught up in the exciter ring and slung around and ripping the end of the Hall Effect ABS sensor off. And now I've got all kinds of freaking coil wire up in here. So, this is gonna be shot in multiple parts today. We are going to go ahead and take off the spider gears. Uh, I got a new set coming. It's hard to find these locally, so a lot of times you have to order them over the internet. Uh, I got a new set coming. We're going to be doing spider gears, pinion seal on the other side of the drive shaft, and a uh, new ABS sensor. So stay tuned. We're going to start turning this around. Uh, actually, I'll go ahead and start doing that right now. Okay. First thing, once you've got both both wheels off the ground, this open differential, once you got them off the ground, well, is going to let the wheels just back drive each other. Either one you turn will back drive the other one. Okay, uh, sorry about that deal while ago with the camera cutting out when I was back there on the spider gears. Um, my uh, rechargeable batteries are pretty well on their last leg, so uh, I went ahead and took those spider gears out. I'll kind of show putting them back in, you know, so you get an idea of how they come out and go back in. We're up here at the front of the differential right now. Um, looking at the uh, ABS sensor up top and uh, the filler plug and then also be changing the, uh, the pinion seal so I've got my drive shaft and flange marked. I'll further uh, mark and uh, caliper the thread length uh, on the uh, pinion nut and threads on the end of the pinion, pinion shaft and show more of that. Basically all we're going to do is uh, uh, take this plug out and uh, this uh, ABS sensor, I'll show you the ABS sensor that I think got chewed off by the uh, exciter ring. So uh, get up in here. Sorry for the weird angle. Okay this right here is the ABS sensor. Uh, it takes some prime with, with a screwdriver. There's a bolt that holds it on back here. Same size bolt as your differential cover. And turn it right side up again. Look at that. So we uh, chewed the uh, end of that sensor right off. 
drug uh, drug all those wires all around the uh, ring gear and everything. That's what we saw a while ago. Uh, you will have to uh, probably use a screwdriver to kind of help pop this up. They're, they're a tight fit. There's a ring as a seal. I don't have very good focus on this. Right, right there. You can see the bolt hole right there. The bolts the sensor down. And then filler plug takes a 3 8 drive. I I oil everything down with uh with penetrating oil before I try to take it out so this isn't dif differential fluid leaking all over the place. This isn't gear oil, this is just penetrating oil. Pretty nasty, yeah. Uh, yeah, the inside of my differential didn't really look that bad. Uh, but uh now we got this stuff out. Uh, we'll come back uh, here in a little bit, uh, and we'll take a look at all the new parts that we're going to put on. Uh, then we'll put on all the differential parts, the gear, the spider gear set, the ABS sensor. We'll drop it back down, the, the vehicle back down off the jack stands, and then we'll tackle this drive shaft, getting it off, and turning the. Uh, the, the pinion nut off because I'm going to need some resistance to the turning motion of the input pinion of the differential and I don't have that right now because I don't have any gears in this carrier so you'll notice I have marked with a white line any drive shaft balance situation I want to be okay so so I'm putting everything right back on the way it was when it comes to this drive shaft mounted to the uh, mounted to the flange so we'll be back in a little bit with uh, all the new parts and uh, then we'll go through finishing the differential on the back side uh, and the ABS sensor and then we'll do the pinion seal on the front. Okay, here we are. We've got uh, some of the new parts here. Here's the, uh, the new rear ABS sensor, Duralast. I'm sure people will flame about this one coming from AutoZone, but they had it take a uh, take a look at the old one and you can see where it got ate off at up there so we're gonna put this thing in first uh, to make sure that uh, that exciter ring isn't hitting it while I don't have any gears in there I'll just be able to turn turn that ring gear and make sure that this isn't getting hit anywhere uh, when we finish up, we'll have a new gasket. Yes, 8.8 .8 inch rear ends do have a gasket. Use it. It's like five bucks, man. Uh, I can't tell you enough. I'm not an auto mechanic. I'm actually an industrial maintenance technician. And I work with lubricant failure problems pretty well a lot. That's one of the main things you need to be concerned with. I mean, if you, if you were concerned with your tires, and all your fluid levels and making sure that you didn't have any lubricant leaks on your automobile you'd be set for a long time probably uh, recommended change intervals no leaks use gaskets when you're supposed to so you don't have a leak I see rear ends all the time no gasket just permatex and they're leaking uh, we've got the new pinion seal new gears these came from motive gear I got a good deal on them. I've heard some crap about Motive. Hopefully, they work out. Uh, and then some reused hardware, uh, the C clips for the axles, and uh, all the bolts. Eleven of them all together. Ten for the differential cover. One for the uh, ABS sensor. Take a look at the old gears over here. Get this out of the way. You can see broken off teeth. Uh, I am missing. There we go. Yeah, yeah, one, two broken off teeth on that one spider, and then another one on the other spider. So, got all new stuff though for the gear. So we're gonna start putting stuff on, starting with the ABS sensor. Okay, let's see here. Some zoom, maybe some light. Okay, a little bit of oil on the O-ring of the ABS sensor. And a 
Let's see if I can get a shot of this. These are kind of tight, but generally speaking, they go in all right. Mounting hole faces the back, and just like that. And she goes. Yeah. Okay, now just put the bolt in there, and we'll be set. Plug her in, and uh, then I'll turn that ring gear. Make sure that the end of that thing don't get uh, eaten up by the exciter ring. So, once again, I was covering up the microphone. Uh, we'll put that bolt in there, torque it down, and uh, spin that ring gear. Make sure the exciter ring is not hitting that new ABS sensor. Okay, I turned everything, uh, and this exciter ring clears that ABS sensor. I went ahead and put on the first side gear. You'll notice I've just pushed back this axle. I haven't taken the wheel off or anything. I've just when you remove the C-clip that allows this axle to push back. I pushed it back. Slip the first side gear on. Then we'll do the second. Make sure all the debris off of it. Make sure you put on your. Uh, can't really see it. I guess you can maybe. Uh, make sure you got your thrust washer on. The grease has kind of got stuck there. I've, uh, I oil everything before I put it on. You can see that thrust washer that goes behind it. And now we're just going to slip it in. I don't know if I can hold this camera and do it at the same time. Just make sure this spot's wide enough for it to go in there. And I'll actually have to push this axle back just a hair, so I'm going to go ahead and shut her off. We'll push this axle back and slip it on. Okay. Well, it's nighttime, so this may be kind of hard to see, but I've got my axles pushed back in. You just push the wheels, uh, and the axle will slide back in. And we're gonna we're gonna replace uh, the uh, C locks right here uh, past this uh, front shoulder on the uh, each axle. There's an O-ring. Make sure the O-ring goes towards the front. Uh, we want the uh, C-clip to uh, go all the way to the uh, to the inside counter bore, kind of like on the uh, side gear. So, you can see this. Just actually, I don't know if I have that one pushed in far enough. I have to push in just a bit farther. Okay, got one of them in. Of course, I'm right handed, so it's got to be a pain. You just push it in like that. Okay, see that O ring is to the uh, to the front or towards the inside, I guess you could say, on these. Now you just push uh, you know I have to get out you'll pull your axles back out and we're gonna slip that center pin and the uh, the uh, spiders or pinion gears into that carrier okay there was gonna be no way for me to uh, to roll these spider gears in here and hold the camera at the same time uh, you got it pretty well I guess I shouldn't do this side shot you pretty well got to roll them both in at the same time and you may have to go forward and back a little bit and, and uh, you know you'll I, I do it by turning one one of the uh, wheels to rotate that side gear like you see on the right over here uh, to roll them in and you may have to back one out and retry it you know if, if you're off by you know uh, about a quarter of an inch or three-eighths of an inch then you're off by probably a whole tooth so take it out and and continue rotating that side gear a whole tooth uh, on the one that you're ahead on. Usually off the one that, that hits a, a hole first, I'll call that one ahead and I'll try to leave the other one in and I'll back the one that's ahead out if I can and skip a tooth and then insert it back in and feed it on in this way. And uh, usually when you do that you end up having your pin almost in a spot where you can't put it in. But, uh, Mine's right here. Make sure your uh, bolt hole orientation uh, matches. Uh, how you're going to be putting a, that, uh, that bolt back in. Actually, just that pinhole. And uh, put her on in. Uh, try to keep everything clean. And uh, 
lubed up with gear oil so it slides on in nice and easy and make sure you keep your thrust washers seated behind the gear uh, when you're trying to put this stuff in because they can slip out and it just it's a little tricky definitely takes both hands